So welcome back. So let's have a, just a, a brief talk about why, what's the difference between JSON and what's the difference between XML. So first of all, let's start out by talking about all it is is for me to transport the data over the wire, right? It's to make some kind of data, data transfer. So I need to find a way so I can transfer my data from the back end to the front end, right? From the tier one to the tier two, from the database to the browser. I need some kind of tool to take the data and send it over the wire. And it doesn't understand C-sharp, it doesn't understand uh, JavaScript, it doesn't understand all these languages, frameworks, PHP. We need some kind of uh, language that we can pass our data uh, over the wire with, right? So that's the goal. And we have two ones that are the mainstream, that's the XML and the JSON. And now I feel there, I don't want, I don't want to get into religion here, but I feel the JSON is kind of moving forward where XML is kind of dying out. But it com it depends on what you need it for. So XML is not a, a dying language. It's, it's just JSON is just being moved uh, used more for transporting data in REST APIs. That's my feeling, right? So let's have a look at how they look compared to each other. So let me just try and grab this into uh, the view over here, and uh, let me try and see if I can show it you next to this guy. So we have um, here we have a JSON setup. This is JSON. So you have like a curly bracket to explain that we have multiple wishes and each wish is looking something like this this is a single wish it has an id a name a created date and a list of persons if they were there they're null right now so this is you can read this as an object right with an id property a name property a created property or attribute depending on the language and then we have another wish down here we have another wish down here another wish down here so you can see this is just a list of wishes that's what this guy represents so we can go more into JSON later but that's just the overview that I want to give you guys now going over to the um, the XML part of this the same idea we have an array of wishes right we have some metadata information here about how we should know about these wishes and then we have a single wish here a single wish here again with the properties but this is more like read this as more of a HTML attribute set where we have tags of wish Right, so this is more an XML, it's more like an HTML tag structure. Well, this is more of a JavaScript object structure. So depending on what language you're coming from, one of them might make more sense to you, but both of them is just a way for us to transport data over the wire. That's the main thing of it. Now, I like JSON more than I like XML. Sorry, but that's the way it is. So I'm moving into JSON from now on. So I'm going to show you uh, how you can transport JSON over the wire, but that's that's just JSON versus XML. Your choice, the goal of it is for us to transport our data over the wire. That's the goal of choosing one of these languages or one of these uh, data transport um, languages, right? So pick whatever you like. I'm going to choose JSON. See you in the next lessons.